Hey, I'm going to show you all the different ways to export multi-track stems, whatever you want to call them, in FL Studio. So the first way is make sure all your sounds are routed to the mixer. Then you want to go to Export, Wave, click on Split Mixer Tracks. Now doing it this way won't render the master effects for each individual stem. If you want to have your master effects on each stem, one way is to solo each track and bounce it out individually. Now that takes a long time, so an easier way to do that is go to this drop down menu right here, go to tools, export all playlist tracks from song start. And then now you'll see the option enable master effects. Now the thing with this method is that you have to split up your pattern by channel. So you click this and it's gonna put each sound on its own pattern. And then you're gonna put each of those in the playlist arrangement view. This method works pretty well when you have EQ on your master, limiters, filters, a tape stop effect, something like that, like a fruity soft clipper, that kind of stuff. It works pretty well. But um, I would just be careful when using heavy compression, distortion, or lo-fi cassette tape type effects on the master because it may or may not sound good with this method. Because compressors and tape effects, they react to all the sounds playing at once. So the way that this method works is that it bounces out each individual track separately with the master effect. So those kind of effects won't sound the same when it's applied to individual tracks as opposed to having those effects on the entire mix playing together you know what I mean but yeah this can save a lot of time because I know that if I'm working on a track that somebody sent me and they send me stems but then it sounds nothing like <laughs> the two track and it's like well I don't know what they had on their master so this could be a great way to include those master effects on each of the stems